Howdy, 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 everybody. This is Gomer the Ranting Thespian, and welcome to Mega Man X. Yeah, I'm going to be playing Mega Man X on this X collection here on the Switch because eh, I need something to do. <laughs> uh, so we all know the story about Mega Man X, right? You know, he was created by Dr. Light as one of his last creations, and he was put into a castle for 30 years testing. Well, Dr. Light died in the meantime, and 100 years later, Dr. Kane finds X and tries to make some rep uh, reploids happen, basically. And, you know, of course, Dr. Kane doesn't know, com completely know about uh, how Dr. Light's stuff works, so these reploids are imperfect, and eventually, thanks to one Sigma, you see him over on the right in the border there, they all, they all decide, hey, you know what? Um, yeah, fuck humanity. We're, we're, we're gonna take over the world. Of course. Uh, so that's where we're at and, and I'm telling this story as I'm blasting through the introductory stage because why not it's quicker for me to just tell you and we get right into the action uh, so whoop yeah just go right under him and, and boom. Shoot lemons and all that good shit yay uh, honestly I've, I've if you've been a watcher of my channel, or if you just decide to go through my backlog, you'll see I go through a lot of the classic series Mega Man games. But it's like, you know what? I have access to at least four different uh, uh, actual segments of the classic, what I call the classic timeline, which would be the classic series, X series, Zero series, and ZX series. And Legend series, actually, come to think of it. They're all like in the same main timeline universe. And. And like, and like I said, I mostly stick to the classic, but you know what? I play the X games myself. I mean, I, I grew up playing Mega Man X, this very game right here. Um, I got it a little later than it, most people would have when I was a kid. I, I think uh, it was like 95, 96 or somewhere. By, by that point, uh, X2 and X3 had been out for a little while, and it was like, you know, it was it was cheap at, at, the, at the Walmart or wherever it was we were at. Probably Walmart. And I was like, you know what, 10 bucks? Why not? <laughs> uh, but, you know, I had seen it in, like, I had seen the games in, like, Nintendo Power, and I'm like, oh, hey, that looks so cool, you know? And for a while, we didn't have a Super Nintendo. I think we finally got one. Um... Whoa. Yeah. Damn. Okay. We finally got one, uh, probably about uh, 94 or something like that, a couple of years after it came out, because. Yeah, we 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 were po, but at the same time, it's not like we could go off willy nilly and just buy a whole brand new Super Nintendo. And at least not at that point in in my life. But you know, we eventually got one, and for some reason, Mega Man wasn't like on the on the uh, short list of the first games to get. You know, we got we got the standards like Super Mario World and Super Mario All Stars, all that. But I did stick a lot with the NES because some of my favorite games were on there. Of course I'm going to stick with it. Uh. Oh. Oh, hi, Vile. Uh. Vile, I think, it de depending on the canon, I think he just doesn't really give a shit about Sigma or anything else. It's just... He just, he just wants to be the strongest. It's kind of like base in that way, except before base came around. Uh, of course. And this battle is a hopeless boss fight, so why not? You worthless piece of scrap metal! Did you think you could defeat me? I'll work on a voice for him later. <sighs> I mean, I am definitely not, not like, uh... Oh god, the voice actors for X8. I forget their names right off the top of my head, but... Well, some of y'all probably say something in the comments. Uh... I guess I'm not powerful enough to defeat him. Oh, X. Of course you're not. But that's okay. You know, we, we all start somewhere, X. Come on, man. X. You shouldn't expect to defeat him. He is designed to be a war machine. Remember, you have not reached your full power yet. You mean I can get more powerful? Uh. Sorry, I almost channeled Ego Raptor for a moment there. If you use all the abilities you were designed with, you should become stronger. You may even become as powerful as I am. 
I'll scout ahead and collect as much information on Sigma's fortress as I can. I'll meet up with you when you get there. See you later. X, I know you can do it. You can do it! All night long? I don't know. <laughs> uh. And as usual, when you have an intro stage in a game, or at least when I see an intro stage in a game, they're not usually long enough for one whole video. So, I... Hello, Bummer. Um, shout out to Bummer. I don't know... I don't... Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I see their screen names and it's like, wait, who are they again? <laughs> but anyway, Chill Penguin. It reminds me of a joke from an old Oddball fan comics pan strip. Uh, it was at one point uh, the the villain was trying to take over the uh, the 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 uh, author's universe as as as, it, as was the style of the time, and he was going through the the guy's like uh, uh, I think like his files and and, and looking for all. Uh, yeah, that's what I get. Okay, looking through like rejected characters and shit in his computer, and one of the ca rejected characters was called Pokey the Chill Penguin, which was Chill Penguin's body with a, I don't know where the ping the proper penguin head came from, not proper as in photorealistic as in one that looks more like a penguin than Chill Penguin, you know, and what stuck out to me was just the introduction. I'm Pokey the Chill Penguin. Beat panel. No. And then Pokey the Chill Penguin just says, Yes! With a strikeout and an underline under it? Like, I, I don't know how you how you would say yes or, or anything with a strikeout and an underline. Well, how do you how do you emote that? Is he just like, yes! Or like, yes! Or or or, or how do you do that? Speaking of emoting. So you've come. X, I gave you the ability to choose your own path in life. And I hoped the world will allow you to choose a peaceful one. But now it seems that you are destined to fight. Because I thought the world might need a new champion. I have hidden capsules like this one. If you find and use them, you will be able to increase your powers. And then dump them between games. Beyond anything the world has ever known. Step into this capsule, and receive the acceleration system to boost your speed. Good luck, X. Uh, note to self, try and put some cool stuff in post for that. If if I did, then, well, you know, you'll, you guys will know. Uh, one thing I'm not commenting on very much right now is the music and the sound effects, which I've played this game enough, I know them all anyway. Um, but that's because of my recording setup <laughs> right now. Um, for, for those who are curious, I use OBS, uh, Streamlabs OBS, actually, to, through the, uh, through an adapter. Ah, I forget what the thing is. It's, it's not, it's not one you would normally typically hear, but, um, you know, like, like, in terms of the brand, and I don't feel like digging behind my computer to go and look at it. Um, but, you know, it, it's, it's got the HD adapter and everything, and I have a dash and I'm not using it. But that's okay. Weepoom! Weepoom! Jump and shoot, dude. Jump and punch! Punch you and goodbye. There we go. Anyway. Um, but yeah, the, the downside to that is I can't listen to any audio while I'm recording unless I turn on a nearby uh, TV. The problem is the TV, while it's not very far from me, it is close enough to where I worry about it being picked up on my talk mic. You know, the blue snowball that I use. Yeah, I know somebody's like, oh, you use Blue Snowball, blah, blah, blah. No, I, I use what I've got. Uh, I've also got a Blue Yeti somewhere around here, too, I could use, but eh, the Blue Snowball is actually set up properly. Uh, not touching anything, so, like, if I beat something, you won't hear, like, an immediate boom over it, you know? Uh, okay, Pingy, come on. Shoot the Pingy. Uh, you know, and, and that actually reminds me of a thing from a show called Two Cents, where, like, uh, one, of, one of the running gags at one point was the host, too, would pick on his co-host, uh, Auburn the Penguin, you know, call him the Penguin, and he would 
one of the things you just really kind of just poke at him with, no pun intended at this point, was uh, the poke the pangy. Because whenever he would do that, Auburn would let out this little squee, squeak, squeal, whatever, and good times were had by all. And that's what this is reminding me of. So I'm going to poke this penguin with lemons and other things and and make sure he does not poke me. Pokes go away from the X and towards the penguin. Uh, I don't know how many people actually get and understand this that particular thing? <laughs> uh, ah, hi. Personal space penguin. Boop. Two, three, four, whee! I feel like I had such a hard time with him as a kid. <laughs> I mean, granted, today wasn't exactly a, a stellar performance either, but that's okay. Oh, bye-bye, penguin. We never knew you. That is what happens when you poke a penguin way too much. Or was that a koala? I don't know. Uh, but yeah. So, chill penguins down. We get the shotgun ice. And I'll let the game show it off for me. Because I need to take a drink. Mm. Yep. Shotgun ice is good. Oh, so with that, that is going to be where we leave this particular video. You get two stages for the price of one. Although, if each stage takes only like five minutes or so, I might just do two of them at once. We'll, fi well, we'll find out and figure all that good shit out. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Take care, and until next time, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off. <laughs>